Shazam in 3D, a 2019 release, a two hour and 12 minute film, currently seven out of 10 on internet movie database, 90% approval on Rotten Tomatoes, 2.4 to one aspect ratio on this 3D disc. Uh, and you, the sound is DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 on this 3D disc. This is directed by David F. Sandberg, stars Zachary Levi as Shazam, Mark Strong as Dr. Savannah, you got uh, Asher Angel as Billy Batson, you got Dejman Hansoon as The Wizard, and you've got uh, Faith Herman as Darla Dudley, Jack Dylan Grazer as Freddie Freeman. This is filmed in Toronto, Canada, and uh, Philadelphia, PA, over a period of 11 months, I believe it was. Gross $36 million, I believe it was. It was a big hit. Um, so what do you got here? You got an adaptation of Shazam, the comic book hero, which was originally uh, Captain Marvel. And then they went through some lawsuits and some stuff like that to get this to the DC films and... Um, uh, we wound up with Shazam. And what do you got here? You've got an awesome, fun movie. This I just had a great time with this movie. I gotta tell you, I had a really great time. Very entertaining, uh, funny, uh, heartfelt. You know, you really feel it in your heart, certain aspects, and then, and then this, you're laughing out loud. Sometimes my jaw was wide open. Sometimes my, I, my mouth was wide open at what I was looking at. I mean, that that's... That, that's how this was, okay? So what do you got here? What's the storyline? You got this uh, Billy, Billy Batson. Um, he's looking for his mother. Um, he was in a carnival at 10 years old, and uh, he couldn't find her. He got lost. So, so from then to 14 years old, he's trying to find his mother, and he's always getting in trouble. He's getting in trouble with the police. He's getting in trouble. He's in foster homes. He's in this foster home, that foster home, because he's doing things wrong to try to find his mom. You know, if he'd done it the right way, he probably wouldn't be in foster homes, but I don't know. Um, and, um, and so he winds up with this lovely foster family uh, that takes him in. And, um, and, there's a, and, and he gets in there and he's got all these siblings. It's a wonderful, wonderful family aspect here of a foster home. I knew somebody that had several foster children, loved what they did. And that is the the core of this movie is this foster family and, and the way they treat him and his interaction with his buddy, Freddy, uh, who is obsessed with superheroes. And, um, and then, of course, we know Billy Batson meets the wizard, gets taken down. He's, he's in this subway and this wizard is looking for somebody with a pure heart to, to, to give him his power so that he could control the, the seven deadly sins. Now, in the meantime, we've got this parallel story. It's actually the parallel story starts in the beginning of the film, I think in 1974. Um, you've got, uh, in, and it, this, is, this is the wizard. This is, um, well, the wizard is in, is in the cave, but this is Dr. Savannah when he was a child, Mark Strong when he was a child. His father was a, was a jerk to him, his brother was a jerk to him. Uh, they, they treated him bad, he's, he's got this eight ball. And uh, he gets called by the wizard, and the wizard finds out he doesn't have a pure heart. Uh, and then, so, so for the rest of his life, he's trying to find the seven sins because they're calling to him. And then he becomes a protagonist in this film. He becomes the, the nemesis that fights against Shazam. In the meantime, Billy gets called down as he's, as he's being chased out through the subway. He gets called out through the subway car, and the wizard... Uh, decides that he does have a pure heart. He's running out of options, though, right? He's running out of options, so, he's, so he decides to pick Billy. And, and then Billy comes back, and he's Shazam! And he's, but he's still a child. And that's the, wonder, that's the wonder about this movie. The way Zachary Levi plays uh, a child superhero, it's, it's absolutely incredible. He never breaks character. He, he's, he's the greatest kid. He's, he's just a big kid, a superhero. He started, but he's still kind of a jerk. You know, he was a jerk because you know, he had a rough life. He's out busking and doing things, trying to make money with his new suit and everything like this. Uh, uh, Freddie, meanwhile, Freddie's a little disappointed in what's going on. He can't, you know, he doesn't show up. He's not his friend anymore. He's just out busking, uh, trying to earn some, some cash. And he causes some problems. Uh, sends a firebolt into a bus. And he's got to go save the people on the bus. Does a good job. Freddie comes up and says, what are you doing? He says, I, I saved these people. He goes, yeah, but you caused it. He goes, yeah, but then I saved them. 
And then along comes the protagonist, and, and, and I don't want to ruin it too much for you, but there is a, a great uh, battle scene at the end, uh, the, third, the third act, and a really surprise too. A really surprise with the family and, and how uh, Shazam spreads out and many superheroes come out of the situation. So anyway, that's, that's the story. Had a great time with it. A lot of fun. Great Saturday popcorn movie. You're going you're gonna to love it. You're going to laugh. Um, just, just a great movie overall. Let's talk about the 3D now. The 3D. The 3D is very good. Very good 3D. Very relaxing. Easy on the eyes. Great depths. Here's what I found about the 3D on these conversions. The inside shots are the best to me. The inside shots. The, the foster home. Looking through the room, you feel like you're in there. Uh, the subway cars. It looks like you're sitting on the subway cars. Also, when they go down into the lair uh, where the wizard is, uh, that expanse going back um, with, with, with the seven sin statues along the side. All the inside shots, and I've, I've noticed this in other movies too, inside shots to me on conversion seems to be the best, whereas opposed to the outside shots, they seem to be more flat in the background. It's, it's, it's three-dimensional, but it's, it's, there's not much separation on that background stuff um, on the outside shots. And I noticed on stereoscopic 3D, to me, that's where the outside shots really shine. Uh, in stero pure stereoscopic when it's shot that way is the outside shots as opposed to the inside shots they kind of have some cardboard cutouts okay so anyway great depths great colors you, you are going to have some pop outs you're going to have some pop outs you're going to have some negative parallax what, we, what do we mean by that we mean there's things that come out of the screen stick out of the screen stick out you're going to have some of those you're going to have some fly outs there's going to be some debris and some some ashes and some sparks and things that are going to fly out. So you, you are going to have that. You're going to have your, your great depths, your great colors, your pop-outs, your stick-outs. You got it all here in the 3D. Very relaxing 3D and a great entertaining movie. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to give Shazam 3D. I'm going to give it four and a half stars for the movie. And I'm going to give it four stars for the 3D. All right. So what did you think? Did you see it? Did you see it in 3D? Did you see it in 2D? Uh, maybe you saw it in the theaters in 3D in, in uh, 2019. I don't know. Let me know. Leave some comments below. Uh, it really helps me out. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to have a lot more reviews coming. I want you to stay safe. I want you to have a good night. And as always, God bless.